Good morning. I was sitting here reading in 2 Chronicles chapter 5 and made a few observations I just want to share with you this morning and see what you think. Uh, so, you know, comments, section, all that business. Let me read to you real quick. Well, what, what's going on in First Chronicles is pretty straightforward. Solomon has built the temple that he's wanted to build, and he's had it outfitted, and everything is ready to go. It's dedication day. And so he brings in all of the trumpeters and the music, and they do this magnificent worship service, and something really cool happens. Let me read it to you. It says, The trumpeters and singers perform together in unison to praise and give thanks to the Lord. Accompanied by trumpets, cymbals, and other instruments, they raise their voices and praise the Lord with these words. He is good. His faithful love endures forever. At that moment, a cl thick cloud filled the temple of the Lord. The priests could not continue their service because of the Lord, for the glorious presence of the Lord filled the temple of God. Second Chronicles 5, 13 and 14. Now, at first glance, honestly, when I read that, I thought to myself, well, that's interesting, but it's a one-time thing, uh, an, an event. Uh, the Lord's temple was built, and it's a big deal, so God made a big presence. And that doesn't happen today. And, and But then I, I read Psalms, and this is what I read from Psalms 115, 16 through 18. It says, The heavens belong to the Lord, but he has given the earth to all humanity. The dead cannot sing praises to the Lord, for they have gone into the silence of the grave. But we can praise the Lord, both now and forever. Praise the Lord. It really just messed with my head that it felt that I thought first, well, that's a normal thing, it's an event. But then God quickly rebuffed me in the Psalms and said, listen, you're alive. I've given you the earth and you have reason to praise and you should praise me regardless of whether the earth shakes or not. And it occurred to me, worship or praise or an attitude of gratitude for that matter is not an action based upon my emotions or how I feel. It's a statement of faith that produces action or emotions, and sometimes the earth shakes. I mean, considering Acts chapter 431, where the disciples come together after a really, really bad day, and they pray and ask God for boldness, it says the Holy Spirit fell down upon the household and it shook, and they went out and proclaimed the word boldly. So for you and me, one of the most important things we can remember about worship is it's not something we do in response to how we feel. It's something we do because of what we know to be true and pray and watch as God reveals to us the true earth-shaking reality of who he is and he puts into us a sense of knowledge, confidence, and a feeling that we desire to have. So I thought that was worth sharing and so I hope you enjoy it. Think about it. Let me know what you think. You can comment in the comments section down below and we'll see how that goes. Now I feel like a real YouTuber. All right. Bye now.